Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be covering the pretty incredible story of over 300,000 rounds of ammunition being stolen and disappearing into the night. We covered this on the English Shooting live stream last week and I'm pleased to say there have been further developments since. So what exactly happened? Well as far as we know there was a delivery lorry that left the Ely Ammunition headquarters in the Birmingham area on the 17th of February. They then shortly stopped, I believe, to take their mandatory rest break, ended up falling asleep in the cab, as this is quite common during the HGV rest break, and a group of criminals then broke into the back of the lorry and stole 330 thousand rounds now in terms of the monetary value depending on exactly what ammunition this was it's anywhere between 20 to 70 thousand pounds worth now when you're dealing with firearms and ammunition really when they go missing and fall into criminals hands you're not really worried that much about the money it's more of the potential carnage that could be cause these are obviously very well organized and very calculating criminals and it seems to be a fairly well planned operation and that can only lead you to believe that this is then going to be flooded on the black market and 330,000 rounds is going to see a lot of criminals through for a long time now before anybody says well it's only 22 long rifle that is still deadly it can still be lethal up to two three hundred yards quite easily i certainly wouldn't want to be volunteering to be shot by it certainly not in a vital area so i think it's still just as serious whether or not the criminals have free access to the guns that take two two long rifle or not we still don't want this out in the wild in god knows whose hands and also i've seen a lot of criticism of ely and also the lorry driver going what are you doing falling asleep in your cab with that much ammunition in the back let's not forget that ely ammunition is one of the world leaders in ammunition manufacturing and they must make and ship millions of rounds every single month this is quite a routine thing for them to be sending that much ammunition out and really that could be a local shops order that could be you know a typical order for the nsra that the lord roberts center down in bisley so really it's not a huge amount and they've been doing this for years and this is the first time we've ever heard of anything so i really don't think criticizing them it's obviously never been an issue in the past and i am damn sure that they are going to learn from this and anything that they can do to prevent this happening again i'm sure they absolutely will not forgetting that ammunition manufacturing on that sort of scale is incredibly tightly regulated and i am sure they would have been doing absolutely everything they are required to by law and above now the great news in the development is that on the 26th of february a joint operation between the police and the nca that's the national crime agency they're pretty much like the fbi here in the uk they deal with the really top level crime really serious organized crime well they managed to track down and locate six men that have been since arrested and have been held in custody and they have recovered they've said nearly all of if not all of the 330,000 rounds so credit where credit is due recovering the ammunition in under 10 days and making six arrests on it it really does show what our police and these agencies are capable of doing yes i'm not exactly the most happy person at the moment with the nca with what i think is their is their quite meaningless campaign on firearms but this really does show what they are capable of doing in stopping real crime and arresting real criminals now the ammunition was found in a, a block of flats in Leeds and it has since been cordoned off for a detailed sort of on your hands and knees search to make sure that they are going to recover every single round obviously 330,000 rounds it's going to take them a while to to count all of that and make sure that everything's accounted for but until they are sure that every single round has been found 
they are going to continue searching and then are obviously going to continue the investigation. So really all well that ends well in this case. It, it does seem that certainly the, the large majority of this your batch of stolen ammunition is going to be recovered and certainly isn't going to make its way onto the black market. I do think there is quite a lot that we can learn here as a, as a shooter community as a whole. Your everyday shooter isn't going to be transporting hundreds of thousands of rounds, but still the, the couple of hundred or maybe few thousands of, of rounds that you have in your range bag on your way to the range and also the firearms themselves are still incredibly valuable to these criminals and are certainly going to pique their interest. You need to always keep your wits about you and always take reasonable precautions to make sure that doesn't fall in the wrong hands. And you know, I've been there myself traveling far and wide for matches. You know, you want to get something to eat, you want to go to the toilet, so you stop at a service station. Well, make sure nothing is on show, everything is covered up or in the boot, and make sure you don't leave that ammunition on its own or the firearms on their own for too long if if you can help it. If you've got somebody else in the car, we'll keep somebody in the car, you can go and take turns using the toilet or one of you can go and get food, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of things you can do to minimize the potential opportunity. We have heard of horrific stories of shooters being followed home from ranges and then ambushed at home. So you really wanna make sure when you arrive at home, is there anything that looks fishy? Is there a, an odd car parked that you don't recognize and maybe looks a bit odd? Are there you know, people hanging around the house? It's harder for the criminals to get hold of guns here, certainly the legal ones. So we need to do absolutely everything to make sure that they don't fall in their hands because of course the police and also the mainstream media love to hear of stories of these, of legal firearms falling into criminals hands because it's the excuse the pun ammunition they need to be able to call for more restrictions uh, and more legislation so we really don't want to sort of hand it to them on a platter be sensible always be safe and always take uh, all the precautions you can to make sure that you, you stay in possession of everything and don't give criminals the opportunity. So there we go, guys. It's an incredibly interesting story. Stuff like this doesn't really happen that very, very often. So I thought I'd give a complete coverage, but it looks like the majority of it, if not all, has been now recovered. So, you know, great job all around by the police and NCA. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for any future videos and content and as always guys i hope to see you soon